Now, billions of pounds have been wiped off the value of BT today following a warning from the company that profits would be affected by an accounting scandal in its Italian division. It set aside £500 million to cover the losses. BT has also warned of stagnating revenues from its contracts in the UK and in other countries. Our business editor, Simon Jack, has more details. I don't even have time to open doors anymore. Not Absolutely every big not company is a household so name, but BT definitely is. is. Its That's services are not. used by millions, and its shares are some of the most widely owned by the public, with nearly a million small investors still holding shares from the privatisation back in 1984. Here is what happened to those shares today. A 20% drop, its biggest fall in its history as a public company. That caught even big investors off guard. It was a real shock. Uh, BT's not the kind of company we expect to have profits warnings. Uh, it's a very strong company with quite a reliable, dependable and, and forecastable business. So we just don't expect these kind of, uh, of issues. So why this sudden and very dramatic slump? Well, BT has problems on a number of fronts. Today we learned the accounting scandal in BT's Italian business is much worse than expected. The black hole there has widened from £145 million to 530 million. Perhaps even more worrying for investors, it also warned today that profits in its core business will be 175 million lower this year and next. Now that's down to stagnating revenue from some of its biggest customers who are not renewing major contracts. And today's news is set against an already uncertain backdrop for the company. The company is fighting calls from competitors and the regulator to split off its open reach network division. It has one of the UK's biggest pension fund deficits and meanwhile it's been spending big on entertainment. I think there's a lot of nervousness around BT at the moment, particularly given the ongoing review of the open reach division uh, and also the review of pensions that's due to happen this year. I think if there's one thing that investors hate, it's uncertainty. And given the amount of uncertainty there is at the moment, any knock to BT sees a sort of amplified effect, which is what I think we've seen with the share price today. Heads have already started to roll, and the BBC has learned tonight that the head of BT Europe is expected to resign imminently. All this will put pressure on the ultimate boss, Brit Gavin Patterson, who's led an expensive expansion into sports coverage, including football. Towards the back post. His position, however, is not thought to be in imminent danger. BT expressed disappointment at events in Italy and promised swift action. Shareholders will be disappointed at today's record slump. And when a company as big as BT says its biggest customers aren't spending money, it's a worry for the wider economy. Simon Jack, BBC News. President Trump.